Hello, and welcome to First Choice Building Products Electrical Latch Retraction Video. Today we're talking about our two different electrical options for dogging the device all day or unlatching the device. On the bottom, we have our EL device, which is a solenoid driven device. And on the top, we have our MEL device, which is a motorized latch retraction device. On both these devices, we're using our rim latch device 3790s. We're going to show some of the differences and similarities between the devices today. We're going to start with the EL device on the bottom. As you can see, the biggest thing with the EL is it pulls in the solenoid to go in, but it does make a loud clanking noise. The EL on the bottom requires a special power supply, either a PS EL 1500 for a single door power supply or a PS EL 3000 for a double door power supply. This is a 16 amp power supply. The solenoid requires 16 amps of inrush in the first 300 milliseconds to be able to operate properly. For this to happen, you have to use at least 14 gauge wire for a 40 foot run and 10 gauge wire for a 95 foot run. All mechanical fasteners must be used when wiring up the EL device. Wire nuts are not a mechanical fastener. Doubling up 18 gauge wire to strand it is also not the substitute for 14 gauge wire. You do have to use the proper gauge wire, proper one of, run of wire, and proper connections for the EL devices. On the top, we have the MEL, which is a motor driven device. As you can see, it's a lot quieter to pull back through. This can be powered by our power supplies PSMEL. 1500 for a single door power supply, or PSMEL 2000 for a double door power supply, or can be powered by any 24 volt DC 1 amp power supply that you have available. The uh, gauge of wire is also not as critical as an EL device. An 18 gauge wire for the MEL device can run it up to 180 feet. The MEL device is also available in a field retrofit kit, the MEL 3000-1. The uses the same mounting holes for the mechanical dogging that it's replacing on the device, so it uses the same hole in the channel to go through. You just have to replace the rear scissor brackets and the rear dogging, mechanical dogging device with electrical dogging device and the connectors for the electrical dogging device. Both these devices can be used as continuous dogging for all day long operation, as well as instantaneous card swipe access. Thank you for watching our video.